Hey y'all, Megan here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. So in today's video, I am gonna show you guys how to create a seamless pattern. As you can see, I already have Etsy pulled up right here and I typed in seamless pattern up in the top search bar. And here is what came up for me. So there are lots of different seamless patterns. Now, if you've never seen a seamless pattern before or you don't really know what you can do with it, um, a lot of people use these for like digital stickers, um, for other planner stickers, uh, there's really a lot of different things you can do with seamless patterns. So today I'm going to show you how to create a super quick and easy seamless pattern using Canva. Oh, look at the cats. It's so cute. Okay, so back to what I was saying before I got distracted by cats, as usual. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to create a digital seamless pattern on Canva in just a few quick minutes. So if you like today's video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below and leave any comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section below and I will do my best to help y'all out with anything y'all have for me. So we will go ahead and get started. I've already got Canva pulled up right here. And um, before we go any further, I do wanna let you know that I've got a free 30 day trial of Canva Pro in the description box below. So if you're interested in trying that out, then make sure to use that link as well as take a look at the other links that I have in my description box. I do think they'll be helpful for you. So back to the story. So we'll go over here to create a, blah, create a design. Um, before we create a new design, it really doesn't matter what size um, document you use for a seamless pattern. I will click on, let's go down to the cats because the cats were really cute. If you don't like cats, sorry, I'm like obsessed with cats. So um, we'll take a look at this. All right, so description, eight cute cat seamless patterns, kitten digital paper set. One zip file includes eight JPEG, 12 by 12 inches, 300 PPI. So there are eight different digital papers and they are all 12 by 12 inches. So if we were making something like this, we would need to create a 12 by 12 inch document in Canva. So We'll go back over here to Canva and we'll go up here to create a design. So you can actually hit create a design or you can hit custom size right here. Um, we'll do custom size right here. Uh, it looks like it's already in letter size, but we will change this from eight and a half to 12. Okay, and then 12, so it'll be 12 by 12 inches. Um, if it says pixels and you need to change it to inches, um, millimeters or centimeters, then you can just tap this little box right here and change it to whatever you feel like doing. So we'll go ahead and create a new design and we'll wait for the page to come up. I don't know why it takes a few minutes for it to all get up here. Okay. So now we've got our blank design. Um, so if you just want to create something for personal use, then you can go over here to elements and look up anything you want to in the elements um, on Canva. So I've got some recently used ones, we've got graphics, we got photos, we got a lot of different stuff. And if you actually don't wanna tap elements over here, um, there is a magic shortcut, but I can't remember what that is. So we'll scratch that for now. And uh, we will go back to elements, my bad. And actually, just kidding. I remember the shortcut. So the shortcut is going to be the, I don't know if it's a slash or a backslash, but whatever the button is next to shift that's got the question mark on it on your keyboard, you're gonna hit that button and a magic box will come up. Once the magic box comes up, well, actually, let me type what button you want to press. So you want to press this. So if you press this line right here, all right, let me make this a little bigger. So if you press this line, so if you press this line, quick little tutorial right here, then a magic box will show up and you can type in lots of different elements. So you can type in cats in graphics, and all these cute little cats will come up. Um, if you wanna do like boho, then 
all these cute little like terracotta colored rainbows and butterflies and feathers and all that will come up. Um, those are really cute too. Now, if you have purchased clip art or you want to purchase clip art, um, I have a video about where to do that for commercial use. So take a look at that. It's going to be up here and in the description box. Um, in my uploads, I have a lot of uploaded clip art from Creative Market already in here from a long time ago. So we will go, we'll delete this text box now that we've covered that. And I'm going to go back to uploads right here. And I'm going to scroll down. Oh my God, I have so much stuff on here. It's like slightly embarrassing. Um, if this thing wants to cooperate with me. Okay. So after we scroll down for a few minutes, you know what, we'll actually use, we'll actually do some like greenery and one of my cats. All right, so this is one of my cats. This was when he was a little baby. Um, I just think it's a really funny picture. <laughs> so we will take the background away. Now, if you want to do something like this, then you will need Canva Pro for the background remover, but we're just gonna quickly remove the background around the picture that you want. And this actually works good too if you're looking to create like something funny for someone, um, like a cute Valentine's Day gift for your significant other or just something funny. Um, you can use this option and create a seamless pattern. So we're going to take away like everything from here. All right. So here he is, we're gonna hit done, apply, and here he is. All right, so I'm gonna make this box a little smaller and I'm gonna move him up here. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make him a lot smaller and I'm going to move him to right here. Oh, well, maybe. Okay, so when you move this around, you will see these like pink lines pop up and that's just that just shows you where the picture is aligned. So we want it seamless and we want to make sure that it like fits together. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the picture up to the top and when you move it to the middle, this line right here, this pink line down the middle will show up. So we're gonna move that there. And then we're going to duplicate this and we're going to move it over again so that it is centered right here. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add one right here in the middle. And we're just gonna Let's make his face a little smaller because I was kind of big. So I'm gonna have to rearrange this now. Oh, oops. Okay. One day we will get there. One day it will be rearranged. Okay, so there's that. And then we're gonna duplicate this again and we're going to center it again. So now we're going to align these um, if you want a full breakdown of how I align these, then you can check out the video in the description box, but um, that's what that's going to look like. So now we have all four of these pictures. Now, if you don't want to go that route and you just want to do like some clip art that you've uploaded, um, let's look at these like feathers. I think these, eh, let's not do the feathers. Let's do... Let's do these rainbows. These rainbows are pretty popular. They're pretty cute. So we'll go, we'll hit this one and we'll make it a little smaller. And we'll put it right here. Then we will duplicate it again and we will move this one over. 
We'll move this one over. As you can see, there's like a line on top of this element and then cutting through the middle and then at the bottom. That's to make sure that it's aligned, like in a line with the, with the rainbow that we put on the left side. So we're gonna move it over until all three of the lines going um, up and down are aligned. And then the line cutting the design through the middle is also aligned. And now we're just gonna create like two or three more. And we're gonna use these pink lines to make sure that they are fully aligned. And now I'm just gonna make sure that these are centered. And now I'm gonna highlight all of these and I'm going to do it actually. Let's move these up a little bit so that they all fit. Okay, so let's try this again. Hopefully this fits this time. Yep, perfect. All right, so we have duplicated all of this. So cute, cats and rainbows, my favorite. Um, and then you can always change the background of this. So if you don't want the background to be white, you could change it to this like orange color. That's actually kind of cute. Um, you could change it to gray, you could change it to dark gray, change it to brown or black. Um, I actually think I like that color. That's kind of cute. Okay, so Really, you can add any kind of like media right here that you want to. We can actually, just for the sake of it, look up um, paw print and we can add this little guy and we'll change the color to go along with the brand. Okay, here we go. So you can add some like right here. Um, actually, that looks really ugly. I thought it would look different, but this is already pretty busy. So what you're gonna do once you get this, um, once you get this seamless pattern changed to what you want it to look like, you're going to save it. So file, save, or command S, and you're gonna download it. So you're gonna download it as a PNG or a JPEG and we're gonna hit download. And I'm just gonna type in test pattern. Should be easy to remember. So what we're gonna do now, let's just open up another 12 by 12 design. So I went back to the Canva home screen and this is still pulled up. So we're gonna create an even newer design. And we're going to drag this and drop it right into here. And let's upload it. Okay, and now that it's uploaded, we're going to, since this is a square and we're putting it in the square, we're just gonna create like four of these. So we're gonna go up to here and we're gonna align it in the top left corner. And we're just gonna drag it until both of these pink lines come up and that shows that it's aligned. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight our pattern and we're gonna duplicate it. And we're gonna drag it over and then you can highlight both of these boxes, duplicate it, and you're gonna drag it down. And now you've got a seamless pattern. So once you have created this, um, there's actually a lot that you can do with this seamless pattern. So this was just an example. If you wanted to create like, a, um, like an iPhone background with a seamless pattern, if you wanted to create um, like stickers with a seamless pattern, you could do that. There's really a lot of different options and I have a cheat sheet down in the description box below um, that talks about what you can use the seamless pattern for. So if you're interested in learning more about that, then make sure to sign up for my email list so you can get that, um, that freebie directly in your inbox. 
But in a nutshell, that is quickly how you create a seamless pattern using Canva that you can use for Etsy designs or for your own use. So if you liked today's video, please, please, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave any questions you have for me, and I will see y'all again soon.